Hey everybody, Mrs. Bianchi here. We're looking at number nine. Maritza remembers her pen because it is between 1,000 and 1,500, and it is the product of two consecutive prime numbers. What is her pen? Now, quite honestly, just the fact that it says that it has to be between these two numbers should eliminate three of the choices right off the bat. But just know that this might not be a multiple choice question and you have to know the strategy for how to do this type of question. So pretend these are not even here and you don't even know it. So let's make sure we understand what product means and the idea of two consecutive prime numbers. So two consecutive prime numbers would be like five and seven, seven and 11, 307 and 301. So consecutive means, you know, one after the other on the prime number list. So if we think about two numbers that we could multiply together that might equal 27, you might think of three and nine, but see three and nine, nine's not even on the prime number list, right? So it has to be on this list. So that's not a contender. Now, what about 91? When we think about numbers that are kind of in the ballpark of equaling 90, we might come up with like a nine and a 10. So if we think about the numbers that are kind of in that range, like what about seven and 11? Would that give us 91 or would 11 and 13 give us 91? And if you're not sure, then you just on your calculator, do 11 times 13 and see what you get. And see that gives us 143. So that's probably not gonna be a contender. Now, what about some of the ones higher on the list? Like, let's start looking at these two numbers that would be consecutive, where if we multiplied them together, it would be 1,147. So we want to use estimation to kind of ballpark it a little bit. If we did, let's say, let's say we did 30 times 30. 30 times 30 would be 900, and we need it to be a little bit more than that. So what if we tried these two numbers, right? These are consecutive. 31 and 37. Let's see what the product of 31 and 37 would be. And we get this. So are they consecutive? They are, right? So which is the answer? If these are consecutive and the numbers are 31 and 37, that equals this number. The question really would be, are there other numbers that we could multiply that are consecutive? Is there any way we're going to be able to get 101, for example, if we did 11 times 13 or seven times 11, there's no way we can get it, right? So you should be able to see what the answer is.